And welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to talk to Dior and Lily. You are in a very interesting looking box van. Mm -hmm. So uh, the ugly box. The ugly the box. She calls it the ugly box. That's, that <laughs> makes sense. It, but it, it's got its own beauty in its own way. Tell us about how you are here in Florida in a box truck. Are you full time, or and why, and are your plans? What are what's going on? So we're we are uh, part time. Um, we we I built the the ugly box <laughs> so that we could um, try out RVing and you know go to different parks. Um, our future plans are to visit all the national parks. Um, not necessarily in this, but you know this is a start for us to get out and and learn how to you know how to RV. Um, we did we we did it once. We rented a, an RV and we loved it. Taking your inspiration from you and other people mm -hmm. on on YouTube, um, I decided to try to build one out with the limited um, uh, carpentry skills that I have and and electrical and plumbing, um, and that's how we that's how we ended up. And and we um, we still live at home. We still have our, our what they call sticks and bricks, but we you know we use this to weekend weekend uh, travel and all that. We haven't left Florida yet, but we have, that's our plan in the future is to be leaving Florida and traveling around. And are you uh, you're still working? Yes. Yeah, well, so you're young. Yes. Well, I'm retired. Oh, you I'm are. Actually retired. I retired from corrections in Connecticut, um, but I'm I, I I'm also working. Mm -hmm. And she is also. Okay, so you are setting yourself up, uh, you're already at retirement, but you're setting yourself up for a little better for exactly. a little more retirement. Exactly. And you have extra time, although you're both working. So you're just taking trips and learning about the nomad lifestyle. Yes. Exactly. And what do you think so far? Uh, we love it. We love it. We, um, every time we go out, um, everybody is very, very supportive. Everybody, everybody is very um, friendly. Um, it's a very friendly environment. We love being outside. So, and this, even though it's 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 a self-contained unit in in a way, we are, when we camp, we camp outside. We cook outside. We spend most of our time outside. But when it starts raining like today, we'll be inside. <laughs> but other than that, we'll be we'll be outside. So tell us a little bit about the the vehicle itself. It's unusual. It has everything that basically that an RV would have, only that I built it. So if anything, that the idea for me was to build something that if it uh, something goes wrong, I can fix it myself. Rather than get an RV that's used and then something goes goes wrong with it and I can't and I'm not able to fix it. Mm -hmm. And Lily, what do you think about this plan? I love it. You love I the love idea. It. I enjoy yes. And Very so much. The, the camping you've enjoyed those trips too? Yes. Mm -hmm. I love being outside and it's awesome. Uh, ultimately maybe you go full time or just kind of let that evolve and see. Yeah, no, well that that was that was, you know, we, we get like I said, we got inspiration from you and from other people on on um, YouTube and, and that is that is our goal is to be able to do that, to do it full time. Well it's starting to rain, so why don't we go inside and take a look around? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's go inside, folks. This is an unusual box truck. Tell us about the box truck itself. When I purchased the truck, it was being used as a mobile uh, car detailing uh, business. And I bought it and it was, you know, it was empty. It didn't have any, anything at all. I purchased it and I, and I started building it out little by little. It took me, it took me about six months to do the whole build. And that's working a full-time job. And when I say I have limited carpentry experience, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video, because you talk a lot about uh, people um, doing their own, doing, you know, doing their own build. And I, I own a house. So, you know, when you own a house, you, you, you automatically have to know a little bit of, of a little bit of everything, but I have no carpentry experience. Um, I have some electrical experience and I have no plumbing experience other than, than owning a house. But you've done a fantastic job here. Thank you. Thank you. It's a Chevy Express, uh, I call it a, a cutaway. It's a 2003. And what size is this box? This box is really big. Uh, from the front to the back is 23 feet. Including the nose. Including the, the nose, nose, yeah. This and is about, I believe it's about 17 feet. So, so it's probably 8 by 17 box. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is just, you know, it feels like a house in here. It's great. It's great to, you know, when we take it out, we really feel like we're, you know, we have, we have enough space. On this side here, we have, you know, the, the typical futon style... Um, pulls out, um, and that, and, and then at the same time, when you take the mattress off, it has um, 
a storage underneath there. So it'll, it'll come out this way, for, like for a bed. And then that's a lot of storage. And then I have all that storage underneath. One of the things that I wanted to do in here is do uh, uh, go as light as I could. That's why this paneling, instead of putting up like uh, plywood, I did paneling to save on the, on the weight. And so uh, the same thing I did here, I didn't want to, I didn't want to uh, do like a cabinet style quarter, three quarter inch um, cabinet style uh, thing. And I wanted to keep it kind of like be kind of look, look like a cabin, look uh, very rustic. Yes. And you've so, accomplished it. Yep. And so my first plan was to have an air conditioner up here. My first plan was to not have any holes in, in it at all. But my wife, my wife had to have a window. Yeah. So, you know, we had the window. Right. Once I had the window, I was going to do the air conditioner up here, but um, the, what I tried didn't work. So I'm using it for storage. So that idea went out the went out, and then I got one of these um, air conditioners. Oh, a portable. A portable, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it vents out. I put a little vent on the side there, and it vents out of there. And it also vents out the refrigerator. Oh, the refrigerator is an uh -huh. AC refrigerator. Mm -hmm. um, and in here, I have a. Right now, I have a microwave. microwave. Yeah, I'm. But, I, I need a microwave. I yeah. I like having a microwave. But we don't use it. Oh, you don't? No. No. <laughs> Over here we have, um, like I said, I wanted to save, sorry for the mess, but this is where we keep our, this is our pantry, where we keep everything. And so I wanted to keep it, like I said, I wanted to keep it light, so I bought this, this wire mesh um, ca uh, shelving system, and it, it works great. This is how I started the build. I, once I decided where the shower was going to go, because we, we wanted to have a, a, a full stand-up shower, Everything else, we, we just worked from there. We right. worked our way around um, because we, we needed to find a spot to put this so that we could put the tanks underneath so we could drill, uh, make a, uh, uh, drill a hole for the, uh, for the drain. This was the hardest part to decide where this was going to go. We had a regular toilet in here, but um, it was, the smell was coming up too much. Mm -hmm. So we decided to get rid of the regular toilet. It was a Thetford, and we got... We, um, I built this composting toilet and it's the regular, you know, one side for the, for the urine and the other side for the solids. And then, um, I have a, the, the motor for the, um, the ice propeller inside a, um, a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And that's what I use to move. Oh, to mix it. Yep. It mixes it all in. And it has a it has a bucket in there. Again, been working great. And how big are your tanks? I have a the uh, the black uh, water tank is well. They're all gray water now because I'm using the composting toilet. Uh, so it's ten and fifteen, so twenty five all together. And your fresh water? Uh, right here, the fresh water tank is a twenty gallon tank. So this is where all my plumbing is. Oh my, that's very nice and neat. The water heater. The tank is back there. Um, like I said, I'm not I'm not a plumber, so I just you know I, I got advice from people at the at the at Lowe's or Home Depot, and so the electrical system is is on this side. Do you have solar? Uh, no, I have it. I have it set up for solar. So this is my this is where the vent for the um, tanks goes out, mm -hmm. and it's also where the uh, solar comes in. Um, but I, I had a solar panel up there and I started, you know, um, messing around with it, try to learn a little bit about it. But uh, like I said, I do most of my camping on campgrounds. So it wasn't, it wasn't being, it wasn't useful for me. Um, this is the only battery that I have, which is what's powering the, the lights right now. I know you've shown these on your- I have, Yep. yes. And so- And I think Suwaki's uh, an unusually good brand. Yes, Very good brand. yes, it's, it's, it's excellent. So uh, this, this battery is basically to take me from my house to the campground. Um, and I have it plugged in here. And right now it's, it's running the, the, the lights and all the systems in here. Mm -hmm. um, of course you can't run a, a microwave with this little battery, but that's not the point. The purpose of it is just to take me from my house to the campground if I need to stop and whatever I need to do on my way there. My counter here is made of foam. Is that poly, is it, what is it called? Poly iso foam? 
Uh huh. Yeah. And so it was great. It was beautiful when it, when I first made it. Um, it worked great. But then the sun got to it, and as you can see here, it started. Oh, warping. Yeah, it started warping. It started bubbling up. I'm gonna have to uh, forget about um, my initial thought of, of get, going light with everything, and I'm gonna have to put a regular plywood countertop here. Well, this uh, this cabinet must be the same thing. Is that yes. also foam? Yes, this is also foam. That's um, beautiful. Again, from uh, YouTube, ideas I got from YouTube. And, I, and that was one of the things that I wanted to do here is just try different things and see what works. And this has worked great. This right here on the outside is a paper bag. This big truck uh, gets about 18 to 20 miles per hour. You got to be kidding. It doesn't. Yep. I per, would per, never ever I'm guess sorry, it. Wow. And yep. is a gas engine? Yes. Well, the aerodynamic design really pays off, I'm sure, in that. Yes. Yeah, and then you've kept it light. You made that a goal and it mm -hmm. succeeded. I think the whole, uh, with you know, I think with the build, um, it's like uh, 9,700 pounds. Wow, that's amazing. Yep. This is now registered as a motorhome. It's no longer registered as a as a commercial vehicle. Now it's it's registered as a motorhome. So um, I had to send them pictures and I had to send them the gross weight of the vehicle. And, and you know, when I had it weighed, that's how much it weighed. And that saves you so much money. Yes. Uh, RV insurance is incredibly cheap. Yes. Well, I saw this vehicle on Craigslist. And when I saw this vehicle, it had everything that I wanted. And, you know, um, so it has the pass through here. And there is, it's a mess because we have put every, all our, our, our luggage and everything in here and our, and our pets. And my wife is there too. I don't keep her there. But <laughs> no. <laughs> was one of the things that I was, you know, once I saw it, I was telling my wife, I got to have this one. I got, it's, it's everything that right. I need. And, you know, as you know, too, the, because it's a, it's a box, it's, it's actually very easy to, to build into because it's, it's a box. It's square. Right. All the way up and down. So there's really no hard um, curves or anything like that. Now, the way we, the way that we cook in here, I don't know if you saw it in here, we have a um, induction stove. If we have to cook inside, most of our cooking, we do outside. But in days like this, when it's raining, we just we do cook inside with the, uh, with the uh, induction stove. So this is Chloe. This is Preston. You already met Lily. The fur kids. <laughs> yes, the fur kids. <laughs> I have my fur kid. I love my fur kid. Yes. yes. <laughs> Chloe's three years old. Preston is almost 15. I know there are going to be a lot of people that see this and see, get a lot of great ideas and think, I can do that. What a wonderful home. I'd love to live that way. Thank and you. like I said, you know, it's, it's not, it, I, I really do not have the, the uh, I mean, anybody, anybody who's a carpenter who comes in here, they'll be able to say, well, yeah, you know, it was built, you know, it, it stayed together, but it's not, you know, it's not a craftsmanship work, you know, but, you know, for our purposes, it, it works great. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, anybody can do it. Anybody can, can really do it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your sharing your home with us and your lives. It's, it's great. So folks, I know you've got something out of this. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.